Imagine sitting at your desk one morning when the fire alarm goes off, except this time it's no drill. In order to safely exit the room, you have to use an emergency exit, a small window. Unfortunately, as you try to exit the window, you get stuck. You realize this is due to the physical constraints of your body. This is an unfortunate situation that likely could have been avoided. Let me explain. Emergency exits represent one of many circumstances in which anthropometry can be used to optimize functionality and inclusivity. Anthropometry is the science of human body measurement. Structural anthropometric measurements are concerned with body size, strength, shape, and working capacity. When presented in percentiles, anthropometric data can serve as a source of readily and easily interpretable information for ergonomists to apply in a user-centered product or environment design. Typically, most ergonomists, when designing a product, will accommodate for the 5th to the 95th percentile of the population, which would be the vast majority. In some instances, such as an emergency exit, an even wider range of percentiles may be used. Take a look around. People come in all different shapes and sizes. Travel to a foreign country, and you may notice that these differences are more or less apparent. For example, anthropometric data for an elderly European male population would not be sufficient for designing a product for a younger female Canadian population. Unfortunately, there's a lack of Canadian-specific anthropometric data, and thus the purpose of our research is to record and present anthropometric normative reference standards specific to a healthy university age Canadian population. We measured 36 body dimensions believed to bear practical significance in ergonomic design. Uh, for, for example, some measurements include stature, chest depth, and thigh thickness. A variety of instruments were used depending on which measurement was being assessed. Uh, for example, we used uh, tape measures, anthropometers, and calipers. Two measurements per body dimension were measured on the right side of the body for standardization purposes, and measurements were done in a circuit or rotational order to reduce the potential for error. A variety of demographic-specific anthropometric data was recorded, calculated, and tabulated. For example, in terms of male stature, the mean was 1,782 millimeters with a standard deviation of 74 millimeters, a 5th percentile ranking of 1,669 millimeters and a 95th percentile ranking of 1,893 millimeters. We are unaware of any other Canadian studies that have looked at as many as 36 body dimensions on a significant sample size. Thus, we believe that uh, the data presented may be used as a relevant consideration in Canadian environment and product design. Ultimately, at the end of the day, if you had to use an emergency exit, would you prefer that it was designed with anthropometry in mind? Thank you.